Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today we're gonna to be putting this little guy together. It's so stinking cute, little lollipop holder. Um, so anyway, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I totally appreciate all the support. All right, so um, it started out with this little guy, which I think is so stinking cute. These are a little bit different than the ones that we've seen, which I think typically the stick goes down and then um, the lollipop usually has like a cutout and this is the belly or the head. But now that um, we're doing it this way, where we're basically welding a little rectangular piece and then making a duplicate of the front, um, you can pretty much do any image, which makes it so much better because before we were doing this specifically for Halloween and for Valentine's Day, but now I think it's gonna be so easy to do whatever your birthday theme is. And a bunch of these will look adorable on, on the, um, like the dessert table or the party favor table. Um, it's gonna be stinking cute. And so anyway, we're gonna be doing this one today, but it's very similar to this one, which I have already done um, on the YouTube channel. So, all right, let's get started. Um, first things first is here is what it looks like before you fold it up. So it's just, you know, you want to make sure that whatever piece you have, um, you're going to have the two holes up here, just like you have the two holes right here in at the bow, because your lollipop stick is going to go in between it and the string is gonna keep that together. So this piece is actually very, very sturdy. You have the piece down here so that the lollipop's not moving anywhere, and then you also have it um, attached right here. So um, anytime that something is, uh, oops, okay, that one's a little bit, hold on, that one's a little bit crooked. I think you're gonna have to, maybe it's this way. There we go. <laughs> um, anytime that you have something that's easy to, uh, replicate and then also when it's standing and stable it's you know it's gonna be so stinking cute it's it's a really good project all right so I'm gonna leave that down let's work on this so um, there are a couple pieces to this thing the file is from the salty Yankee which I love um, we the design space tutorial will go over it. It is a little bit different because I did do some tweaks to the file. Like for instance, her file is a solid black and then the mummy pieces are a bunch, a lot of pieces. And I didn't want to deal with all these little pieces. So instead I sliced it and you know, we're doing this instead. So, all right, I'm gonna flip this over. So these are really thin pieces. You have a couple different options. Um, one of the things that I like to do is I just put a lot of glue down and then kind of dab, dab the pieces so they're all getting a little bit of glue, but, but not excessive because it's only picking up where it can. And so I'm gonna put this down and then if you need to add a little bit more glue, you can just to make sure that it sticks, but. This is pretty good. Okay, and then I'm just gonna pop out. You see how there's one hole, the other hole still has the paper inside. I'm just gonna pop it out really quickly. There we go. And now you see two holes. <laughs> And the next piece is the orange. And same thing with this orange piece. I didn't want all these little pieces um, to have to glue them down. So I ended up slicing it out and I'm just gonna do this. So on here, we're gonna flip it over. Um, you know, these are little things, right? <laughs> They're, you know, like three inches or so. So I don't like dealing with a lot of small pieces. I don't want to keep track of like, oh, this little gauze piece is over here and not up here. Um, so between that and the bow, I that's the way that I wanted to do it. Um, all right, let's do the face. Yep, 
wrong side. So I am wondering if the light is too bright, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue down. And um, for this, because it's not really I don't know in my mind we're doing a lot of these they're gonna sit on the table they're gonna look really pretty because there's a bunch of them I didn't bother to do anything with foam foam tape it's also kind of small and it's really like for me on this one it's the main thing is there's a lollipop on the inside so I didn't really bother to make it pop out or anything I feel like um, I don't know there's something about that there's it's double-sided I just you're you're bending it a little bit so I didn't want to do any foam tape um, all right so let's see we've got oh, we've got eyes and nose so I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the inside and then I'm gonna use my pickup tool I was able to pick that up with my fingers, so I didn't even need the pickup tool, but I do need to adjust it. Okay, there you go. And then we have a little yellow nose. I did end up using HTV on this project, which, you know, I, I love to use HTV when I can, um, but I used it where it says who it's from. So, love, Charlo. Um, that's my daughter. And so... Um, I didn't want to deal with the individual pieces, so I just cut it out in HTV. So I will show you that in a little bit. But I tried to make this as easy as possible to assemble um, without losing my mind when it comes to cutting the pieces or anything. Although people were very surprised at this black outline that it was able to cut so well. Um, it is ground up creations cardstock which I love it's 300 GSM it's thicker it cuts well um, and I had no issues with this so you can see I did quite a few of them I'm doing three copies of this so there you have it all right so we're done with one side that's it super cute right um, I know it's kind of hard to see between the colors but that's white against the kind of like creamy gauze and, and then there's the orange okay we're gonna flip it over and do this side, which means I need this little one. And the same thing with this one. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue here, but I'm gonna glue this up again and kind of just dab and let it pick up some glue here and there. And then I know I was holding on to the banner so it got no glue. I mean, I don't mind putting a little bit of glue down. And wherever else you need it. But the idea of doing this for a birthday party, I am just in love with it because it looks so stinking cute. I mean, look at how adorable that is. Um, so you can either do each person's individual name or you could do a thank you. Right. Oh, I forgot the pumpkin. That's what it was on this side. I think it was looking a little, a little bland. Okay. Oh, wrong side, wrong side. There we go. <laughs> um, let's see, which one is this one? Yeah, this one. Because they're mirror images, um, you just need to be a little careful. More than more than I was. Okay. All right. Uh, let's put it this down. Oops. Okay. 
And we're almost done. Just the eyes. Another nose. Let's see if I have another eye in here somewhere. Oh, there we go. And then just my hands. So cute, right? And so fun. Um, I know I haven't quite decided if I'm ready to do so many of them, but um, I don't know, it's super cute. Now, you may be wondering what the heck this was. I don't know what I was thinking. I was sizing it and I measured it and look at how much bigger that is. So obviously I needed to re-measure and do it smaller. All right, um, okay, so we've got our Hello Kitty. So let's do this piece right here. This is HTV, so I'm just going to flip it over and weed it. It is from HTV, um, HTV. It is from Polytape, which is my favorite brand of HTV. And the reason is because it really, for me, I just think that it cuts and weeds really well. And then on top of that, it takes just a few seconds for it to adhere. So it is, for me, um, I think it's a superior product. And so I love, I love using them. All right, here we go. Um, all right, so here's my little banner. And it goes this way. Oops. And you'll see in a second. It takes about three to five seconds to adhere. This is, oops, I should have turned it on. I didn't turn it on yet. Um, it takes about three to five seconds to adhere. You're going to see me apply it. It's going to be super, super easy. All right, in the meantime, while we're waiting for that to, for the um, mini to heat up, you're just gonna fold this like this so that this uh, rectangle piece is flat and that's what's gonna hold the lollipop. And then I need a piece of string. Oh, here we go. This is just embroidery floss. I'm gonna cut off a piece. Let me put my glue. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna poke it through both sides, both holes. Um, and I like to weed it, I mean, thread it through the front too, just keep it loose and then we'll stick in the lollipop afterwards. Um, and the other thing is for the string, it's a lot easier to deal with it when it's um, longer and then you can always trim it afterwards. All right, so my strings, my string is in, I'm gonna stick the lollipop in like this, stick it in between, put it down here, and then tie it up. So you see when it's tied up, it's already ready to go. Okay, so I'm gonna tie it now. I do double knot it, and then I just trim it so that it's pretty flat against the piece. That's it. It can be done, but we're gonna add extras, right? So I heard my little heat press. So you're gonna see, I'm gonna press it down. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and you see, like, it doesn't ruin the paper. The paper's still very flat. And that's it. So could you imagine keeping track of the thin cut letters in cardstock one, and then after you cut it, you peel it off, you make sure you don't lose any pieces, they all cut well, and then you gotta glue each individual piece down, or you could just do that. That was super easy, right? All right, I am using foam tape here because it's gonna go on the stick like this, and so the stick is kind of thick. I wanna make sure that I have foam squares over here so that I can glue that down and it hangs um, like so. So it just gives it stability. It's 
you know, it's done. Um, I'm gonna grab foam tape or foam squares. Put it right over here. And I wanna make sure this isn't going anywhere. <laughs> so I'm actually going to put my hot glue gun down just to make sure that the foam squares themselves aren't gonna go anywhere. They're down. And then I put a little bit back here and then put my stick Then I'm gonna run it on top and over here as well. Super cute, right? So there's the two of them. Fast and fun and just simply adorable. So there's that one and then there's also the ghost. All right. I uh, will see you guys next time. Please comment questions and then don't forget to check out the design space tutorial so that you can see how I changed the file up. All right, see you guys in a little bit. Bye.